you're good. Just send word if you ever need our help. That's what we're here for. Sure, sure. Well, let's get back to it. See you. Willing to work hard to make this a home and be proud of. Hey. So, you're with the Minutemen, right? Is there anything you need me to get started on? Yes, I'm here to help. What's the problem? Some raiders have been threatening us if we didn't give them supplies. We told them to take a flying leap, now that we had the Minutemen backing us up. But they didn't seem too impressed. Said they'd be back with their friends to make an example out of us. We're not soldiers. We're hoping you can help us set up some defenses before it's too late. Oh damn, here we go.
trying to stand up to those bastards. The Minutemen came through for us. It out. Got anything else for me, Garvey? Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio hook to let settlers know it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time.
who's there? Come and embrace Adam's glory. Heretic! What now? I'll mark it on your map. We can use all the support we can get. So, see what you can do to help. Listening. Excuse me. I got word of a settlement that needs our help. Here's the location. Get there as soon as you can. We promised them we'd be there when they needed us. Heads up. Okay. Need something, General? How do you feel about us? You've done a lot of good for the people of the Commonwealth. A lot of good. But what do you think about our relationship? You know how to handle yourself. Just curious what you're thinking. You know how to handle yourself. I'll give you... No, never mind. All right.
Good sight lines, plenty of hard cover. Whoever set this up knew what they were doing. Huh, haven't seen you before. Hey, Lucas. Got armor at good rates if you're in the market. I've got a few minutes to browse. Focus on stopping power. Pretty, don't stop bullets. Make a move, and I'll end you, Wastelander. If you're here about the missing caravan, the contract's like already been picked up. Bit, if you need rest. Old man Stockton. The mercenary I hired comes highly recommended. I'm certain I don't need further assistance. Old man Stockton. Best of luck to you and your endeavors, though. Stockton. Best of luck to you and your endeavors, though. in the army, but what's the Congressional Army? Standing order, sir. Proclamation 3. All members of the U.S. Army are hereby members of the Congressional Army. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. At the double quick, sir.
their reeks. This is the captain speaking. We're taking on an allied soldier. Clear the berth, disable defenses, make way. A lot of stories about how that ship got up there. I never heard one that I believe. I'd hate to have to attack this place. Hey, Captain. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. Thanks for calling him off me. The scan shows you have the proper number of appendages still, so all is well. I am Captain Ironsides, commander of the USS Constitution. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. You calm these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings and Loan! I spit at you. A sad state of affairs for such a historic ship. I can't believe she's still in one piece. On that, we are in agreement. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but more rats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. If I help you, I expect part of the payment up front. What a singular request. Were you in the Navy, I would remind you of your oath. But... As a soldier, I will authorize a performance bonus payable immediately. Consult with the ship's purser. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. A few more cannons are ready. Fire at will. Captain Ironsides. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crew's nest scan two points off the port bow. 
Jump to it? Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. Thanks for calling him off me. The scan shows you I am ca You visit the... A sad state of a... I can't... Oh, that's right. Which vexes me enough pleasantry. If I help you... What does sink? Mm -hmm. I will authorize a consult with the... Look, lively lads. Scavengers approach. A lot of stories about how that ship got up there. I never heard one that I believed, though. You hear a lot of stories about how that ship got up there. I never heard one that I believed, though. stories about how that ship got up there. I never heard one that I believe, though. Hey. Just point me to it. You hear a lot of stories about how that ship got up there. I never heard one that I believed, though. Hi, 
Soldier, Ooh. scavenger a threat mask. eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. You robots do a good job of defending your ship. Proclamation 1. Defend the Constitution by any means necessary. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. I can help. Where is it? Stolen by human scavengers. Reclaim chip at scavengers forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir. You certainly have pep. Much obliged for the compliment. But on to the mission of the day. Our last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including replacement power cables, sir. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. I'll get right on it. My anxiety emulators are lightning by the microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying gratitude. System the Constitution's mind again. Her systems long starved in fregata life. <laughs> A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to our shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Why are you ashamed of that? Back from around, sir, there were dark times. But I made all manner of baseless complaints against the captain, the manner in which the ship is run, and the plausibility of our sacred mission. But now, I see the error of my ways. With your help, perhaps I can atone. Power relay coils are a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely, they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seas.
Hey, Bosun. Tis an honor to crew such a story vessel. Hey, Bosun. Power flows far and steady. I would applaud you. Alas, who can all do to my lack of clapping instruments? But huzzah, sir. Huzzah. Well, you're very welcome, Bosun. You are too kind. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttlebutties, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. A lot of stories about how that ship got up there. I never heard one that I believed. Though. didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag you anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. So they were scavengers, but not with you. Well, they were kind of with us. I mean, we're not really used to working together. It's not like anyone is in charge. But we do have an agreement. Everyone works together, gets an equal share. When you waltzed aboard the ship, those assholes just kind of lost it. They broke our agreement and paid for it. How did you get aboard anyway? We thought you were going to get cratered for sure. He knew I was an army veteran, so he let me on the ship. Army? Isn't that some old world mumbo jumbo? Whatever. So you got to see the inside, huh? All that self. The real motherload, just waiting to be stripped and sold. If you say so. So you talked with a tin can. What do you have to say? Ironside says you stole a guidance chip. He wants it back. His guidance chip, right. You know what he needs it for? His rockets. The huge Goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. I'm sure there's a good reason he needs them. You seriously want to help that idiot bolts for brains? Screw that robot and come work with us. There's dozens more of us nearby. It's only a matter of time before we come out on top. I'm not splitting my share with him. You holding out on us, Davies? You got some magical way in there? This guy's got a free ticket aboard, so shut up. Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. What's in it for me? What do you think? The tin can's gonna pay you? Maybe in some freaking doubloons? Stick with us and you'll be rolling in caps. So you in or out? No deal. I'm with Ironsides. Good. I don't trust these scavengers. Then screw you, asshole. You're lucky we don't gun you down.
Excuse me. If you're here for work, you're too late. Anybody here? We've got trouble! Rolling. It is an honor to crew such as as A lot of stories about how that ship got up there. I never heard one that I believe, though. I'd hate to have to attack this place. Ahoy, soldier! Ship recovered. Dispensing bounty. Diagnostics report one error remaining. Guidance radar's transmitter is non functional, requires replacement. Happy to help you out. Again. Soldier's happiness is irrelevant. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, sir. Hey, navigator. At current speed, we will arrive at destination in undefined hours. Mr. Navigator. Maintaining present course. Patrolling. Oh. Well. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. Thank you. 
You hear a lot of stories about how that ship got up there. I never know. Patrolling. Ahoy, soldier! Guidance system fully functioning. Bounty dispensed. It is required. You commence dialogue with the captain, sir. You've been of service to our noble vessel. Despite ample provocation, I had hoped the guidance ship could be recovered without violence to the scavengers. Even now, they plot their retaliation. Why did you want me to spare the scavengers? I confess they are a blight upon my existence. Those scallywags killed many of my marines. Went down to a skeleton crew due to that filth. But they are citizens of the Commonwealth. Citizens we're pledged to protect against foreign incursion. Which is not without its irony. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. I'm always happy to help. I would expect nothing less. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed. I hear a lot of stories about how that ship got up there. I never heard one that I believe, though.
nice. What am I doing? It's called shooting straight, rookie. Okay, cut the shit. Who is
Please don't be ferals again. A lot of stories about how that ship got up there. I never heard one that I believed. I hear a lot of stories about how that ship got up there. Hey, Captain. Trim the power on the starboard bow. Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Luck willing, at long last, we'll set sail. And our hero of the hours to thank. You've earned a double share, sir. Well done. My pleasure. You are truly worthy, sir, of witnessing our maiden voyage. Our twin NX-42 rockets will alight and then moor us from this dreaded savings and loan. The Constitution will launch into the heavens and after, gently land in the ocean. Then we take our rightful place as defenders of the Atlantic. That's ambitious. As they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Mr. Navigator, put her through her paces. We need to... Those motherless curs, prepare to broadside. Defend the Constitution until our last breath.
Captain Ironsides. God be good, the scavenger assault has been broken. Not one of those scallywags stepped foot on our vessel. All hands, prepare ship for launch. Congratulations, Captain. There is one thing. We need power from the auxiliary generator to commence our voyage. I fear I must call upon you one last time. Consider it done. I admire your pluck. Here is your amply deserved reward. God speed to you, sir.
I can patch you up if you need it. First, sure. Yeah. Go on. No cuts or bruises or anything. Glad to hear it. Took one chem to. Let's clean you up. All done. Any other complaints? No injuries that I know of. Good. Hope it stays that way. Anything else? No. We're done. All right. Yeah? Hey. You want to do some trading? I'll take a look, sure. Here's what I've got. Again? Time to do business? Let's see what you have. Always happy to make a sale. Going well.
talk about guns, or maybe you want to... Let's see what you have. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. I I'll take a look, sure. Just don't call it junk. Don't have no handouts. Well, I'll be damned. You're that minute man, aren't you? Garvey. Good to meet you, pal. You're one of you step through the gate. Hey, Cleo. You got I've got a weapon here for every situation. Hunting, protection. Sure. Let's see what you got. Let's get you outfit. up.
Anything I can do? You just say the word. Hope you ain't one of them since in spy. Crops been growing pretty good lately. Swap supplies? No problem. Someone needs help? We help. It's hurting. Another day of hard work. Nights like this, a warm spot with a cold beer would be heaven. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Been too long since I picked a fight. What's going on? There's no sport to spill in blood. I trust you're enjoying my company. You and I make quite an effective team. data is hard to process. Apologies. What is it? What's going on? I'm pleasure to see you again, sir. Are you ready to depart? We can talk about guns, or maybe you want to... Let's see what you have. Feel free to test the grips.
You. Well, I suppose we can do business. I've got a few minutes to browse. A bit of everything. Do you want that tour or not? Ten. Welcome back. Looking to trade? I've got a few minutes to browse. You'll find something you like. Everyone does. again step right up a little bit of everything from all over let's see what you have you got the caps i got the goods Many flavors of mayhem for sale. Cricket. Come on, come on. Get you your guns here. here. Small booms, big booms. I got them all. I'll take a look. Sure. And there they are.
I have so much money. So. Excuse me. Looking for a weapon? Let's see what you got. Here's what I got. Hey, buddy. Greetings, buddy. Care to wet your whistle? Uh-huh. I'll take a beer. Cold and refreshing. Excuse me. I'm sure I've got something you need. Sure. Let's take a look. Here's what I got.
Mini. only take 10 cans? You know, it tastes better than that old cram or brahmin that's been sitting out in the sun for days. Uh, there, there are people out there who are hungry. You just gotta sell up the product a bit more. I'm sorry, but 10 cans is all I can commit to right now. It was selling like crazy for a while there, but there's been talk about people getting sick. People, people get sick all the time. That, that, that has nothing to do with my product. Besides, I mean, I, I'm only selling the meat you people bring me. If there's something wrong with it, it's your own damn fault. Oh, so now it's my fault? Forget it, the deal's off. You want to sell your product to the people out there? Then you can get out there and do it your damn self. What? Hey, oh, oh, come on. Fine. Hey. Keep. Got some stuff for sale? Be Care to have a look? Sure. Let me show you what I've got.
Looking to trade? What was that in there about people getting sick? Theo got that old cannery up and running about a year or so back and convinced me and some of the other traders to start bringing his cans around. It was all good and well for a while, but in the past couple months I've had people complain about getting sick after eating it. Don't get me wrong, not like people dying or anything, just, I don't know, the sales have slumped off and Theo's gotten more uppity. I'm sure I have something you're looking for. You should have a look. Not right now. All right, I'll be around. <clears throat> Couldn't stay away, huh? Bitch. Sure. Have a look. But if you bite it, you bought it. <laughs> ah, you're back. We've got a fresh batch of Long Neck Lekowski's canned meat. Just pulled out yesterday. You looking to buy? Might be. Let's see what you've got. A great price for a great product. <clears throat> hey, sorry about giving you the brush off in there. Theo just gets on my last nerve, you know what I mean? What was that in there about people getting... Theo got that old... It was all good and well. Don't get me wrong. Anyway, enough about... So, can I interest you in a trade? Not right now. All right. I'll be around. Excuse me. Couldn't stay away, huh? Are you interested in buying some of Long Neck Lakowski's delicious canned meat? Sure. Have a look. But if you bite it, you bought it. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to have a look. But yeah, stay out of the old basement. It isn't safe down there. that's worth taking with us?
Bingo. Perfect. Isn't my favorite customer. We buy old cans and the best meat the Commonwealth has, so we can offer the finest product on the market. Looking to take a few cans home with you? Sure. A great price. Some things you can't unsee.
Commander. You.
told you to stay out of the basement. Now that you know my little secret, I'll just have to kill you. Oh.
Have a minute. I uh, well, I wanted to talk about something. What's on your mind? I've been thinking back lately on how things were for me when we first met. You don't still feel that way, do you? No, not at all. That's what I wanted to talk about. My point in all of this is that, well, you saved my life, and not just by saving us from those raiders and conquered. I mean that. You made me want to keep living again. I guess that sounds pretty sappy, but it's true. If we hadn't met, or if you'd killed those raiders and then just taken off, I don't know if I'd still be around. I think I would have found some way to, you know, end it. Maybe not by shooting myself in the head or anything, but just by not caring about staying alive. So I just wanted you to know that. How much our friendship has meant to me. Have you ever thought about us becoming more than just friends? Have I ever? You mean you've also? Hold on. You kind of caught me off guard there. Let me start over. If you're asking if I've ever thought about you romantically, the short answer is yes. But I didn't ever imagine that you could feel the same way about me. I mean, I know she's gone, but you still seem to be in love with your wife. I didn't think you were ready to move on. You're right, Preston. I'm not ready to move on. I'm sorry. I understand completely. There's nothing to apologize for. I hope this doesn't make things awkward between us. You don't need to worry about me. I'll be fine. I'm glad that I had a chance to say it. Even though the outcome wasn't what I'd hoped for. Now I've said it, we can move on. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods you owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Whoa, whoa, easy there, vault boy. This doesn't involve you. I'm calling it right here. This world can officially bite my ass. Hey, we all got problems, all right? I'm just trying to collect on what's owed to me. 
Don't suppose you feel like helping us out? You'd use an extra gun, or maybe you talk some sense into Trudy over there. If I help, I expect to get paid. All right. I was going to pay you a hundred caps, but why don't we make it 125? Sounds low. You're a businessman, right? You can do better. Okay, okay. 150 caps. Stop lowballing me. Put some real money on the table. I'll make it 200 caps, but that's it. Any higher, and I might as well go home. Who's Trudy? See that diner right in front of us? Trudy owns the place. She's converted it into a small shop. I sell her chems, she gives me caps and parts I need. And when her son Patrick had his 18th birthday, I might have sold him some jet. Then some more. Then a lot more. Now he's in debt. Jet? But what's Jet? That's my top seller. Gives you a high like you wouldn't believe. My customers swear it makes them faster. Always take a huff before a fight. Well, I guess Patrick was looking to get from under his mama's skirt and be like the tough guys. So, he bought some. And once you're on it, why stop? Now, I've sold that boy a lot of my Jet. And I expect someone to make good on his promises that I get paid. Sounds like the family should pay what they owe you. That's what I'm saying. Finally, someone who gets it. You gonna help us out? I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. Hey. Sure. Here's my supply. Anything I can help carry? Something before you cripple yourself. Hey, buddy. Good to see you again. Hey, buddy. Hey there, pal. Would you like a cold one, or did you want... I'll take a beer. Cold and... Cigarette. Yeah? Excuse me. There you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. Time to hit the road. Finally came to your senses, huh? Heads up. Need something? since the bombs. Rather be off murdering a pine. Heads up. 
Well? Do. What's the angle here? Nothing stays hidden forever. Time you want me to carry some of that valuable gear? You're lucky. You just, uh, you just let me look know. alive. I call it a good day. One that ends without an empty stomach. Hey there. If you need a weapon, you've come to the right place. I'll take a look. Sure. Here's what I got. Every piece in here is worth what I charge for. Right. Sure. Let's take a look. Everything you need. If you're thinking safety, a long range... Uh-huh. Let's see what you have. Don't forget to stock up on ammo.
Oh, we've got to see what's inside this place. I need a place to stay. Hey, Doc. You have some sort of medical problem here, or are you just yanking my chain? Are you really a doctor? You want news? Want me to rub your feet at the same time? I only got time for one thing. Making caps. Oh, and, uh, you know, helping people. Not today. All right. Excuse me. Maybe we could stay here hey. for a while. Welcome back. Looking to trade? Let's see what you got. You got the caps? I got... Every weapon you see here could be the... Let's see what you got. Purchase a variety. Alive. Time to split up the loot? I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Look, you owe the money. If you just pay them, then this'll be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. All right, I'll pay. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You hear that, Wolfgang? You'll get your damn money, but I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Fine by me, Trudy. Your son's broke as shit anyhow. All right. Crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Yeah? Excuse me. Yeah? <clears throat> we get paid and I don't even gotta shoot nobody. Good job. Here. Now how about I show you all the pick-me-ups I have to offer? Let's see what you got. I got stuff that will throw you. We're open for business again. A little lighter in the pocket, thanks to you. Hi. I got a store to run here. You gonna buy? Let's see what you have. All salvage. But nothing's junk.
Need a swatter with a little more stopping power? Eh, stainless steel nails, my friend. Got any work? Well, if you want to help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting is for punks Weston had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catcher's mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? A hundred caps seems light. I need more. <laughs> I like your moxie. We'll make it 125 caps apiece. How's that sound? Please. You own a whole store. You can do better. Look at that fire in your eyes. <clears throat> All right. 150 caps for each piece. And you better be worth it. Deal? You're holding out on me, Mo. Come on. Show me you're serious. Oh, if only Ice Ice Julie could see that steely gaze of yours. <laughs> she might have finally met a match. You win oh, 200 caps each. But that's my final offer. You taken or leaving? A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball thanks you. That's a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. This is the part where I get paid. Right you are. There's your payment, and a little bonus for getting the right shade of green. Don't do anything with it I wouldn't do. This helps. Your thoughts? Did you ever stop and think that those synths at Bunker Hill might not want to be found? Maybe we should just look the other way this time. How do you think things are between us? Well, partnering up with you sure beats drinking myself blind and good neighbor. Didn't have anything else. I'm at me. What's that? Playtime's over!
That's it. Yes? I'm making that look easy. Hey! It's you! Hey, find any of those baseball items I mentioned? Got them all right here. <laughs> I like your gumption. Let me take a look. <sighs> this baseball. It's the real deal. You'd sign one of these. And give it to the children of anyone you killed on the field. Look at that card. See those numbers on the back? Tracks the count of enemies beaten to death by the player. Check out the leather on that mitt. Ah, really good players use them to catch bullets. True fact there. That's everything on the list. <laughs> Thank you. Far as I'm concerned, you're now a part of baseball collector history. Arms, ammunition.
You're the greatest baseball collector I've met in a long time. Hey, thanks again. Uh-huh. Sure. Let's take a look. A swatter never runs out of bullets. like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. If you hit upon something, don't bother telling me it's an heirloom. I'm probably older than whatever it is you're selling. Got any work? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. I don't think that's enough money to cover clearing out a whole building. You got a good point. We'll make it, uh, 250 caps. It's not just the cost of ammunition. Danger means doctor's fees. Yeah, yeah, all right. How about 300 caps when it's done? Deal? Sorry, not enough. Guess that library's gonna be Super Mutant Central from now on. Wait, don't... don't go. Uh... We'll make it 400 caps. Anything more you can tell me about the library? A lot of those pre-war buildings have automated security. Robots, turrets, that kind of thing. A lot of computers, too. Hope you take the job. You might not believe this, but I was a shy child. Books were like my best friends growing up. You got a deal, Daisy. Thanks. Hey, while you're there, could you return this book for me? It's from the library. Don't even ask how long it's been overdue.
So, you impressed yet? Hey. Yes. Hey. So, you impressed yet? I told you I was a damn good shot. Is there a reason that you're bringing this up? I'm not trying to gouge you for extra caps, if that's what you're thinking. I just thought you deserved to know a little more about me. I'm completely self-taught, you know. Picked up a sniper rifle when I was ten and never looked back. I always thought it was smarter to hit my targets at long range. I mean, why take chances, right? Besides, I had to come up with every trick in the book to survive the Capital Wasteland. I can't imagine how difficult it must have been out there. Well, at least I wasn't alone. Lived underground in a place called Little Lamplight, with a bunch of other kids. Left there when I was around 16. We kind of had a policy there. No adults. When you were 16, you packed up and left. I know, it sounds crazy, but... Having adults around was something we couldn't trust. How could a bunch of kids survive without help? Everyone pulled their own weight. Just like a colony you'd find anywhere. We all had our designated jobs, and we washed each other's backs. Can you believe I was actually the mayor for a while? Me. Crazy, I know. Pretty brave. A bunch of kids living alone like that. I don't know. Looking back on the whole thing, I think we were just lucky. Anyway, when I hit 16, I ended up wandering the Capital Wasteland for a while. I took the odd job here and there, but things were pretty hot with the Brotherhood of Steel running the show. So I hitched a ride with a caravan and made my way north until I ended up here. I made a pretty decent name for myself before I heard that the gunners needed some sharpshooters. Biggest mistake of my life. They were animals. 
Killed anything that moved if it got in their way. I went with it for a while because the caps were good, but... I don't know. I guess it started to catch up with me. So I quit. Which pretty much brings us to now. So there you have it. My whole life in a nutshell. Sounds like the road can be a lonely place. Until you meet someone to share it with. I... well, I... I never thought of it that way. Maybe that's why I feel so comfortable telling you all this. Look, I know I tend to be a pain in the ass... I mean, I know I tend to be arrogant and I come off like I want to be alone. Nothing could be further from the truth. Being alone scares the heck out of me. Now that we've been traveling together for a while, I'm beginning to realize how much I missed having someone I could depend on. I just wanted you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to see that it stays this way. Well, that's all I had to say. Hope you got something out of all that. I know I did. Hey. What's up? Hi. Take this. You're gonna need it. Hear that? Playtime! Chopped up another kill for me. Looking to earn some caps? I could use a hand here if you're all done gawking, you know. Or I could probably help for a few caps extra. I was gonna give you something anyway. 75 caps for your time? I'm not sure if I'm up for it. A couple more caps might change my mind, though. Not gonna make this easy, are you? All right, 100 caps then. You want this pump fixed, right? Throw in a few more caps and you've got a deal. Okay, 125, but that's it. Any more and I'll just do it myself. 
What do you need help with? The pump isn't in top shape, but it should at least start. There must be some leaky connections flooding me out. Think you could fix them? The leaks will be underwater. Look for bubbles, and you should find them. That's it.
there's rain fog <coughs> the That's before. a ticket. You do the honors. Hit that switch on the end of the pump. Need a weapon? You've come to the right place. I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's what I got. This better be an emergency. See what you have.
<clears throat> Remember, I don't serve scents. Supplies are just for humans. I've got a few minutes to browse. A bit of everything. Safety, a long ring. Let's see what you have. Don't forget to stock up on that.
Than this ain't. <clears throat> Can I get you a drink? Sure. Let's take a look. Let me know what you'd like. Heads up. Yeah, sure. I'll trade with you.
weed. Something valuable inside to justify all this protection. Anyone violate protocol and enter that transit station before we're set, I'll have you.
Jesus, shit. They're gonna die. What happened to you? Raiders. That's what. Those bastards have my family. You... You gotta help me. Please. Tell me what happened. They fooled us. Big time. My family and I ran into some traitors a while back. Told us they knew a safe settlement. At Nuka World. But when we got there, found out there were raiders the whole time. Just stringing us along. I managed to escape, but my wife and son are still back there. I wanted to get some help and go back with them, but didn't count on taking a bullet. Let me help you first. I have a stim pack. No, no. I'll be fine. Save it for my wife and kid. For Lisa and Cody. You're not thinking straight. Maybe you hit your head. Damn it. Look, you got me. I ain't injured, okay? Just can't do this anymore. The raiders back at Nuka World put me up to this. They lure people in and kill them for fun, and I'm done doing their dirty work. Let them find me and do what they want. Sounds like typical raiders to me. You don't get it. These raiders are different. They make Commonwealth raiders look like a bunch of kids. Here, take this password and find the office with the control terminal. Power up those rails and you can see for yourself. Just don't say I didn't warn you. As for me, I'm getting as far away from this place as possible. Nuka World is proud to be the only East Coast location serving Nuka Cola Quartz and Nuka Cola Victory. Try one today! Reserve your tickets now and be the first to ride our angry anaconda coaster opening soon at Safari Adventure. Harvey 
only told you half the truth. You're still heading straight into a death trap. But if you somehow make it through alive, I have an interesting offer for you. In the meantime, have fun and put on a good show. I'll be watching. We are now arriving at the station. Please be sure to collect any children and personal belongings before exiting the Nuka Express. Attention all I think we're going to desire holes out there.
so our little fig managed to pick one tiny little lock. Let's see how long the gauntlet lets him enjoy that one. Splitting all that. What the hell? I see Pat from the roof. something?
squirrel on a stick. That's it. Got it.
Let's see if our Vic can kill the gas before the gas kills him.
That's right, Vic. Breathe that fresh air in. Now he's just starting to have fun. Sometimes. Other side's chained up. This thing takes any longer, we're all gonna die of boredom. in it for you. This ain't just about what's in it for me. Both of us reap the rewards if you pull this off. All right, I'm listening. My kind of guy. Look, you made it this far. You obviously got skill, but this fight coming up is rigged. You get me? Over Boss Coulter, his power armor set up to draw energy from the electric grid in the arena. 
damn thing's invincible. You name it, someone's tried it. Miniguns, grenades, not a scratch. You get what I'm saying? <sighs> so, he's a cheating coward. Gotcha. Doesn't have a fair bone in his body. You want to win? I stashed a weapon in the lockers. Get it. Is this a, a squirt gun? Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like. You're just going to have to trust me. Is this a, a squirt gun? Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like. You're just going to have to trust me. <sighs> well, I've always wanted one of these. Would have made a great toy for Sean. Oh, great. You're a lucky day. Congratulations. Now we can get on with it. Once the water hits Colter's electrically charged power armor, the circuits are gonna short out. It'll kill his defenses, but you only have so much time to do some damage before they recharge. You take him out, I promise you, it'll be worth every minute spent in this gauntlet. Consider it done. That's what I like to hear. All right. It's time. I'll open the door. See you on the other side. Got ourselves. 
the new overboss. This guy? Are you sure, Gage? You better know what the hell you're doing. Hey, you talked about this. He survived the gauntlet. He was smart enough to take my advice and strong enough to kill Colt. He's what we need. How about we show some respect for our new leader, eh? He'll get respect when he earns respect. Amen. All right, all right. Now get the hell out of here. I'll show the boss around. What did I tell you? Worked like a charm. So you really wanted the Overboss dead? Dead. Out of the way. What's the difference? Either way, good riddance. The plan was a success. <laughs> Thanks to you. <laughs> Not a bad plan. And what do you know? It worked. I get that you have no idea what's going on and everything is coming at you real fast. But you need to listen. Taking out Colter wasn't just a last-minute decision. It was something a few of us here have been working on for a while. Now that he's actually gone, we've got ourselves a vacancy in the overboss department. Guess what? You just got the job. All I'm asking is that you trust me on this and give it a shot. I swear, it'll be worth it. First you lure me in here, and now you want me to run the place? Something like that. Let me explain. There are three raider gangs that run the show at Nuka World. The Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. And yeah, if the names didn't give it away, these ain't your typical raiders. These morons don't exactly play nice with each other. Thanks to Coulter, this place is a powder keg just waiting to blow sky high. One wrong move, and we're going to have a bloodbath on our hands. I think you have what it takes to turn things around and keep these gangs from tearing each other apart. Why me? I'm sure you're better suited for the job. We'll get into that later. Now, I'm sure you got a lot of questions, but this ain't the place. Meet me at the Overbosses, your new quarters, the restaurant on top of good old Fizz Top Mountain. We can talk there. Just let me get that door for you. There. Let's keep the conversating between us, okay? Meet me in the overboss quarters. Gage. Let's keep the conversating between us, okay? Meet me in the overboss quarters. Understanding the operators ain't hard. We know how to live. The other gangs? Dying is more the their strong suit. Ain't hard. We know how to live. The other gangs. Dying is more their strong suit.
Hey. What's up? Finally, think straight. You're buying. Even. Let's see what you got. Let's get you outfitted, killer.
Jeez, brother. Daisy. You're back. How'd it go at the library? Get rid of those super mutants. I managed to fight my way through the library. Oh, and I dropped off that book of yours. <laughs> Only 200 years past due. I know it was an odd request, but thanks for making the library a safer place. We gotta keep some old building sacred, you know. Here's your money. What, you need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel Rexford. He'll hook you up. Fishing for a snog. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but. So a ghoul walks in the bar. Bar trap says, ghoul says, that's fine.
So you got a ride of choice? I'm usually a Mentat school myself. Makes me feel intellectual. So you got a ride of choice? I'm usually a Mentat school myself. Makes me feel intellectual. Hi. I'm sure I've got something you need. I've got a few minutes to browse. Great. Got some great stuff. If you're in. Uh huh. I've got a few minutes to browse. Every. Sure, I'll trade with you. If you're thinking safety, a long-range rifle lets you stay in cover. And hey there. You again. All right, got plenty of supplies. Let's see what you have. Here's what we got.
Word is, super mutants just hit the place. They're still trying to rebuild. Should be easy pickings. If there's anything left. How good is this source of yours? It's good, Shank. I don't bring you bullshit. And I'd like to keep it that way. Here, earn this. Anything else you find out? Shank, you'll be the first to know. Huh. So you're the new overboss. I expect you and I are gonna have a lot to discuss in the future. Please, don't hurt me. <clears throat> These collars get damned hot after a while. You a sheep or a wolf? Because the pack only runs with wolves. Fact, it is. Well, that's terrific. We're so happy to welcome you to Nuka World. Now, before you set off on your grand Nuka adventure, let me tell you about error <laughs> system <laughs> malfunction. Are you finished wasting my time, you filthy lowlife scabber? Because I'm getting bored, and when I get bored, I get violent. Wait, what did you just say? Oh, what's wrong, dirtbag? Too hopped up on chems to understand English? Or just too stupid? Well, I think you heard me just fine. System restored. Oops, sorry about that little glitch. Data logs indicate unauthorized tampering with my personality subroutines. Please contact a Nuka World maintenance technician as soon as possible. What happened? Who was tampering with you? I wish I could say. The personnel involved do not match visual records of any known Nuka World employees. Fortunately, my audio receptors recorded the entire event, and I submitted a holotape per standard security procedures. Now don't you worry. Even despite that unfortunate incident, I'm still operating at well over 61% normal capacity. As I was about to say, I have a little tip to help you make the most of your exciting Nuka World adventure. Be sure to collect park medallions as you enjoy our amazing rides and attractions. There's a special reward if you collect a full set. If you have any questions about Nuka World, I'd be delighted to answer them. And remember, any time is the right time to enjoy a cold, refreshing Nuka Cola. What if I want a place to relax or get a bite to eat? Where should I go? Why, you're already here. Nuka Town USA is a great place to unwind and enjoy a delicious meal. If you're searching for a tasty treat your kids will love, take the whole family to Cabby's Cafe. Looking for a romantic night out? Enjoy dinner and a show at the parlor. Want a commanding view while you enjoy a world-class dining experience? Head on up to the Fizz Top Grill on Fizz Top Mountain. If you're up for a challenge, test your skills at the Nuka Cave or take a wild ride in one of our cola cars. What else would you like to know? Tell me more about these park medallions. I'd be delighted to. Spread throughout the park are several dispensing machines that will give you a special park medallion. Once you've got a complete set, just bring them back to me for a special reward. Where can I find these dispensing machines? I'll give you a hint. You'll want to visit some of our most popular rides and attractions to find them. What else would you like to know? Tell me about the different areas of the park. With pleasure. Set a course for the stars in the galactic zone and see the amazing future of mankind's journey into space. Explore Starport Nuka and blast into adventure aboard the Nuka Galaxy Roller Coaster. Travel back in time to Dry Rock Gulch, 
where you can walk the dusty streets of a frontier town. See history come to life in our authentic reenactments of cowboys and gunslingers as they tame the Wild West. Witness the wonder of nature in Safari Adventure, home to an amazing collection of exotic animals from all over the world. Challenge the hedge maze and climb the towering treehouse, where you'll enjoy a commanding view of our magnificent menagerie. Be sure to visit Giddy Kingdom, a magical realm where fantasy meets fun for the whole family. Your younger types will love to go for a spin on the giant Ferris wheel. And be sure to take a tour of King Cola's castle. Finally, in celebration of its worldwide debut, we've revamped the World of Refreshment ride to feature a river of Nuka-Cola Quantum. What else would you like to know? No questions for now. In that case, thanks for error. System malfunction. You're still here? Get the hell out of my face, you miserable toe-sniffing dirt scratcher. System restored. Have a great day. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. What's the point of picking up that junk? Standing out, you ain't worth looking at. Hey, hey, is the baddest man in Nuka Town. What can I get for you, my friend? Let's see what you have. My pleasure. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other. Must be stressful. It's kind of bad for these trainers. Kind of weird, college like that. Congratulations on taking out Coulter. I'm, uh, sure you'll do great. Why would you congratulate me? It's not like you're free to go. Well, to be honest, I don't know you yet, boss. Sorry I'm so nervous. I didn't mean any disrespect, boss. I just don't know where I stand with you, and I, I don't want to end up pissing you off. That, and, well, 
I'd be lying if I said we weren't all wondering how you plan to run the place. I mean, this is your show now. You can do anything you want. You can run Nuka World just like Coulter. Business as usual, or... You could... Um, well, you know... Get rid of the Raiders if you don't exactly agree with how they're running the place. Are you out of your mind? Just hear me out. The gangs that call this place home are already at each other's throats. Now... You could risk your own neck and try to keep them from tearing each other apart, or you could do the right thing and put them in the ground. And when it's all said and done, you're still running this place from your fancy house on the mountain over there. Except now, you won't have to sleep with a gun under your pillow. I'd have to kill... all of them? No, of course not. If you're serious about this, then you'll have to take down the leaders of the gangs. That means putting a bullet into Nisha, Mason, Mags, and Mags's brother, William. Once you do that, the gangs will collapse and Nuka Town goes back to being a free trading post. I should, uh, probably stop talking about this out here. Just keep what I said in mind. Anyway, I'm the closest thing to a doctor around here. I treat everyone, raider, trader, or traveler alike. Got some medical supplies, too, if you're looking for those. A doctor? How did you end up in this place? Well, it's a bit of a story. I used to live at a settlement west of here. We got hit by Coulter and his gang back when he had one. It was a tough fight. We killed some of theirs, they killed some of ours. They were wounded on both sides, but nobody could get to them. I called out for a ceasefire on the condition that I'd see to their injuries as well as ours. Saved a few lives that day, including Coulter's. When he set up this place, he came back for me. Said if I came along, He'd make sure his guys wouldn't hit our settlement again. Now this place is my home. Anyway, anything I can do for you? Treatment or supplies? Actually, I need some supplies for my next stop. Here's what I've got. The raiders keep talking about bloodworms. I hope I never find out what those are. Hey, boss. Gotta admit, it was good to see Coulter go down. He scared the hell out of me. Gave me nightmares. What was he like? In a word, violent. The other raiders might also tell you that he got a little too comfortable in the position. In any case, he wasn't someone whose bad side I ever wanted to be on. Just like I don't ever want to be on yours. You don't know anything about me. I could be a lot worse than he was. You're absolutely right, boss. I shouldn't have said that. It was stupid of me. So, uh, what do you think? About running Nuka World, I mean. Figure it must be a pretty tough job, keeping all these raiders in line. I wasn't really looking to become the overboss of Nuka World, but... I might as well enjoy the benefits of my position. Makes sense to me. Well, I'm sure you've got more important stuff to do than talk to me. Or were you here to pick something up? I'll take a look, sure. Right away, boss. junk. This place really makes me want a nuka cola. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'll stay in line. Well, well, look who it is. Are you here to grace my humble market stand with your presence, oh great boss, sir? Lose the attitude, or lose something a lot more valuable. Sorry. 
I know you didn't ask for this. It's just hard not to be bitter, you know? We do all the work, then the gangs reap the rewards. Pretty sweet setup, at least for you. But I guess it doesn't really matter what I think, does it? As long as I'm wearing this collar, I'm no better than a slave. Do you complain this much with everyone, or am I just being singled out here? Well, it's not every day that one of us low-life traders get to have words with the high and mighty overboss. Maybe I didn't want to waste the opportunity to tell you how things really are around here. <sighs> now, if you need guns or ammo, I'm the one you talk to. And before you ask, yeah, everyone pays. Even you. Why do I have to pay for this stuff? I'm the overboss, remember? Like any market, this place needs caps to run. Whether it's for payoffs, bribes, you name it. I don't mean any offense, boss. It's... It's just the way things run around here. Let's see what you have. You got it. Unless you're here to take this call off me and set me free, I'll assume you need guns or ammo. You really need to get down on Coulter. That was something. I guess that means his big plans for the park died with him. Ahem. Hey there, boss. You really laid a beat down on Coulter. That was something. I guess that means his big plans for the park died with him. If there's a chance that Coulter's plans could get this place back on track, I'm interested. Whatever you say, boss. Back when Coulter first took over, he had big ideas. And he made some big promises. His plan was to get the power plant back online and light up the whole park, making it easier to conquer and safer for all of us. We could have done it too, but things changed, slowed down. Coulter stopped pushing, stopped caring so much. Why did he stop caring? Did something happen? Some of the gangs were guessing he got too comfortable, but I don't really know. Well, I'm just a traitor. So I know my opinion doesn't count for anything. But I still think it's a good plan. Hell, I might even give those poor bastards out in Dry Rock Gulch a fighting chance. What poor bastards are you talking about? Back when the raiders took over, some of us, the traders who were here before, I mean, got away. Last I heard, those folks were holed up in Dry Rock Gulch. They're probably struggling, if they're alive at all. 
You think you follow through on Coulter's plan? Get the juice flowing again? You seem pretty well informed about Coulter's plans. Well, yeah. Coulter needed my input on getting the power plant running again. I'm sort of the unofficial chief handyman around here. Or as close as we've got to one. Guess you could say I've got a vested interest in the plan to get the power back on. Speaking of which, do you think you'll see it through? Coulter's plan, I mean? Coulter had the right idea. I just might finish what he started. I hope you do, boss. Truth is, I've dreamed about that day more than once. Not sure why, really. Maybe I've just grown attached to the place. What with all the work I've done on it. It sounds funny, I know, but I think Nuka World is something really special. I think she deserves to have her lights shine again. And just imagine, at night you'd see it for miles around. Folk would talk about it. They'd come from all over to shop in the market. That's a lot of caps for you and the gangs. How long have you been here? In about 20 years now, I guess. For better or worse, Nuka World is my home. Gotta get back to work here. See you around, boss. Found some pretty good stuff while I was out on the road. Interested? What have you got? It changes every day, to be honest. But I try to keep a good mix of weapons, supplies, and trinkets. It's a decent bet I've got something you want. Let's see what you have. The guy selling chems is really big guy. I mean, huge guy. Actually, better than slaves. Uh, I don't remember his name. Bastards. I'm not looking for trouble. I Just some big deals. I thought about trying my hand at the job to see if I could do it. Drifting away, looks like. You tell me I'm gonna lose, tell me that I'm a piece of shit, and all this stuff, and I'm just laughing. I'm laughing, I'm taking my shot. Let's do shots for bullshit. Gotta party like it's your last day. Need supplies? Got a little of everything here. You were so amazing, I didn't even know. You see that crazy robot dressed like a bottle? Three rival gangs in one place, and they're not killing each other? Seen anything like it. Came a long but I'm right, way. it's him. He is wobbly. So, you know, I push through it, man. I knuckle down and I keep taking shots. Finally, he just goes face first into the table. Out cold. No question. And I'm so pumped up, I pick this guy up. I shit you not, I picked him right up, totally raged out, and then I just Bam! Slam him back down onto the floor. And I'm screaming, yeah, man, yeah, who's the best, who's the best? I'd bring my kids here someday. Stealing food. Yeah? What did you do to him? Ain't no one sad about Coulter. You serious? Just yeah. don't screw Then this I up. got in a little extra target practice. <laughs> Dumbass traitors. Gotta chase what you wanna catch. Hi there! If you So let me get this straight. Some scaver makes it through the tunnel. 
takes out the boss. And now we're all supposed to follow him? How does that work? He ain't even a raider. All I know is, Gage was in the mountain the other day and he had a real long talk with Nisha. In private. Gage? How the hell with that guy? What's he ever done around here? Hey, I'm just telling you what I saw. If you want to know more about what's going on, then maybe you should ask Mason. <laughs> what do I look like? An idiot? Man, I've been getting the shakes bad. I haven't slept in days. You got hit the jet pretty hard. Get some of that new Colmex stuff that Maddox cooked up. It'll set you right. Hell no. This is the best buzz I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen anything that's, um, out of the ordinary around here, have you? Maybe something hidden. Shaped like a bottle cap. I thought we told you to keep your ass at the market. If you're looking for something, you can find it there, like everyone else. I'm not here for the market. I didn't travel hundreds of miles to go shopping. I don't suppose you came here for a bullet in the brain, either. So if you want to live, I suggest you stay where you belong. Oh, you guys are real friendly, aren't you? Nuka World! I've always dreamed of coming here, and now I finally made it! This place is amazing, don't you think? Yeah, I guess it is pretty impressive. It sure is. You can just imagine the children smiling and happy, all drinking Nuka Cola and having the time of their lives. It must have been magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled all the way from the Capital Wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard about my Nuka Cola Museum? Uh, yeah. The Nuka-Cola Museum. Everyone's heard of that. Really? That's great! I'm so glad word is catching on. Maybe I'll get more visitors soon. You just made my day! Here, let me return the favor. It's not really cold anymore, but I'm sure it still tastes great. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. What are you searching for? I don't really want to say. It's nothing personal. I, I just don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. I'll keep your secret. You can trust me. Well... Okay. To be honest, I'm so excited I can barely keep it in. It'll be a relief to finally tell someone. I guess you could think of me as the world's biggest Nuka-Cola fan. I've been obsessed with this stuff since the first time I tasted it. I collect all the merchandise I can find, like these awesome cappy glasses I'm wearing. But these aren't just ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. Oh my gosh. And the winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb Bradburton himself. Brad Burton, I remember that name. He was the guy who invented Nuka-Cola, right? Exactly. Wow. Not a lot of people know that. At least not anymore. So, to win the contest, you had to find ten images of Cappy, the Nuka-Cola mascot, hidden throughout the park. Each image has part of a code or something, and only these special glasses can reveal it. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad Burton's long gone. Who cares about the contest anymore? Well, I'm betting that somewhere in his office is the original Nuka-Cola formula. That formula was one of the great mysteries of the soft drink world, and it would be the crown jewel of my collection. If you can help me get it, I promise it'll be worth your while. You'd better make good on that promise. I'm not running a charity out here, you know. Of course. Th there's a little bit more to the story, and this is the part I think you'll like. Brad Burton didn't just create soda formulas. He was a genius who invented all kinds of fantastic things. All I really care about is getting my hands on the Nuka-Cola formula. Any other inventions we find are yours to keep. So, what do you think? What's in it for me? I was just getting to that part. Brad Burton didn't all I really uh -huh. so. Sure, why not?
Might learn more about the park while I'm at it. Good point. You're new here, after all. You should learn everything you can. I'll give you my cappy glasses and this old contest hollow tape. It's got hints about where to find the hidden cappies. Just track down the clues and then come back to me once you've found them all. I'm an expert in all things Nuka-Cola, so I'm sure I'll be able to decipher it. Happy hunting! Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Things are boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. There's machines here that used to spray kids with Nuka-Cola. What was wrong with those people? This one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. Watch yourself, boss, because we sure will be. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control, now that you're in charge. Yeah, I still don't get it. Why put me in charge? You may have noticed that our former overboss, Coulter, was a fucking asshole. And that's me being nice. Ended up being poisoned for this whole operation. The way I see it, surviving the gauntlet means you've got what it takes. Or at least the potential. For a good while now, we've needed someone who can get shit done, make real progress. If I'm really running the show now, let's get to work. Now that right there is just the kind of attitude I was hoping for. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? What sort of talents would you say you have, Gage? Aside from being a good shot and having a foul mouth, I've run with gangs nearly my whole life. I know how raiders think, what they're after and how to use that to your advantage. Trust me, I'm in this just as much as you are. This shit needs to work out. I hear you, Gage. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you all at once here, 
Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. A lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was... is... a real mess. Wait, what kind of mess am I walking into here? It was little shit at first. Heated tempers, arguments, the occasional shooting. Got worse over time, though. The gang started staking out as much territory as they could. All being on top of each other like this. Started looking for excuses to turn on each other. If something ain't done soon to settle things down, it's gonna reach a point there ain't no coming back from. I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps, they'll listen to you. The pack? Hell, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. Don't worry. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. What happens after they're on my side? Then, we get started on taking over the rest of Nuka World. But, one step at a time. You in? Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss, after all. Just, don't screw this up. Gage, you need something, boss? Aren't you raiders all the same? Hey, come on now. No need to be insulting. Commonwealth gangs, well, most of them don't even qualify. They ain't organized. They don't make smart decisions. Basically one step up from rabid animals. I've run with some of them over the years. Every single time, they either think way too small or get themselves wiped out. I make a point of getting the hell out of Dodge before that happens. I don't get it, Gage. What's the appeal of all this? Oh, come on. It ain't that hard to see. You take whatever you want from whoever you want. Anybody has a problem with that, you cut them down. You telling me that doesn't sound like even just a little bit of fun to you? Anyway, don't mistake the gangs out here for being the same as those Commonwealth saps. Gangs out here, they got agendas, and they're gonna expect results. You can't afford to forget that. You need anything else? I want to know more about Nuka World. Yeah, good call. Big time amusement park back before the world went to shit. Well, I guess if this place is any indication, it wasn't so hot before it all blew up. Anyway. We weren't the first to think of this place as a good stronghold. Before we got here, a bunch of traders had set up shop and hired a whole lot of guns to protect them. 
They were dug in like ticks. That's why it took pulling a bunch of gangs together to even have a chance. You've got this area of the park. Isn't that enough? Why do you want more? You got a lot to learn, boss. So we've got Nuka Town. And most of the traders work for us now. They ain't happy about it, but screw them. We really need the rest of these parks, though. Every one of them not under our control is a threat. And the gangs are too cramped up. They're stepping all over each other. Unless they get room to spread out, there's gonna be bloodshed. So the sooner you get them all to agree to follow orders, the sooner we can improve our situation. You, uh, got any more questions? Tell me more about the gangs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, quite the assorted bunch. All used to hate each other, and I guess maybe they still do to a degree. Took a shitload of work to get them all on board with this idea, so I really don't want to lose them now. If I were you, I'd start with the Disciples. They might all be crazy, probably are in fact, but Nisha has her reasonable moments. Then you've got the Operators. Spoiled, rich kids. But doesn't mean they ain't ruthless killers. If you can impress Mags, she'll listen to you. And then there's the Pack. I'm not saying they're savages, but, well, shit, they're savages. I don't know how Mason keeps them on a leash. Up to you who you want to trust the most, but you're gonna need to trust at least some of them. You need anything else? Nothing else for now. All right. You know where to find me. something about Processor. Couldn't fry the whole system. Then we salvage it for parts. You really think anyone's gonna miss this robot? Now hand me that screwdriver. If this little personality upgrade works, it's gonna be the funniest damn thing in the park. Man, I can't wait to see the looks on the other guys' faces when they try to talk to it. There. All done. One slightly raiderized robot ready for duty. Mm -hmm. 